Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add your own virtual background to your video box on ClassIn. So previously, ClassIn already had an option for a virtual background, but you had to use one of the images that they had available for you. But now you can actually add your own image. So first, let's take a look at where the virtual backgrounds are located. If you go up here, right next to the video camera, the four little squares, and you click on the settings. This is all of your settings, the general, video, audio, and then you have the virtual background. So here you can see the options that they already have available for you. You can do a blurred background, a transparent, or you can do one of these images. So if I click on that, now I have a bookcase as my background. You're gonna notice that it's not the best quality. It's gonna depend on a few factors. Your lighting, of course, the color clothes you're wearing, your hair, the chair color. There's a lot of different factors that affect virtual backgrounds. And keep in mind, you're not using like a nice green screen like on Manicam. That's gonna be a lot better quality, but it still is an option if you want to have a virtual background. Movements <laughs> don't always work the greatest, but I know there are some teachers that really like having an option to have a different background. So these are the pre-selected options for you that you can choose from. But now let's take a look at how you can add your own. So two things to keep in mind. If you look down here, it says you have to have the format of whatever image that you want to use it has to be a PNG. So JPEG's not gonna work. Make sure it's a PNG. And you can add 10 images, just like the, um, what's the other one? The classroom background where you can add your own, but you can only add up to 10. Same thing with the virtual. You have the ones that are already there and then you can add 10 more of your own. But keep in mind, you can delete ones you've uploaded and change them out at any time. So once you put those 10 in, they're not stuck. They're not there forever. You can always delete them and add a different one. So in order to add your own, you're gonna go back to the settings, virtual background, and scroll down where you see the box that says upload. So when you click upload, it's gonna take you, of course, to the files on your computer. I'm just gonna to go to my desktop and I will be able to see all the PNGs that I have. So I'm just gonna select one here. Let's do this flag. So I'm gonna double click on that. If it's a large image, if you want to zoom in, move it around to situate it, but mine actually works pretty good at the normal setting. Then I'm gonna click okay. And now it's added to my list of virtual backgrounds. So now when I click on that one, voila. Now I have a Im an image that I have selected for my virtual background. And of course I can change it at any time. And if I change my mind, there's that little red X and now it's gone. Again, you can add up to 10 of your own, change them out at any time or use one of the pre-selected or of course just use none at all. If you have any questions, let me know and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of the new features that are being added to ClassIn every month. Bye everyone.